Now, I'm gonna show you guys how I go ahead and trim my hair. So this is what we're working with. And because I don't straighten my hair, the um, length and evenness and all that stuff doesn't really matter. I'm just getting rid of anything that's bad and keeping everything that's good. Sectioning off, so I have this big section here and this big section here. Basically, what you want to do is you want to take your time with this hair, okay? You don't, we don't want to be losing hair. I have stuff dripping all over me, so I'm just gonna put this on. Make sure you have hair shears. Make sure that they are specifically for cutting hair. So I have these hair shears, which I've been using for quite some time, and I got it from my beauty supply store, and it's was pretty affordable. So this has gotten me through a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of hair that has been on the verge of coming out already. And now that you're running your fingers through it and you're detangling it, it's coming out, which is awesome because it makes your life easier. Um, a lot of times we think our hair is um, like super damaged or we cause our hair to be even more damaged because we hold on to those single strand knots or those split ends or those like strands that are um, hanging on to other strands. Um, we gotta make sure that we're always detangling our hair the right way. Um, if you want a finger detangle, that works, but just take, take your time whenever you're detangling your hair. But you can know when your hair needs to be trimmed by looking at the ends. The ends is the most important thing that you're looking at because if your hair is uneven, um, it's like, uh, you know, frizzy like the, how my ends looked. Um, if it's not curling up anymore, the way that the other parts of your, the way the other parts of your hair are curled, like that's, um, a big one because my hair was previously heat damaged so I'm able to tell what um, like my curls actually look like versus unhealthy curls so um, I didn't use heat in my hair for over I want to say it's been two years since I've used heat in my hair yeah because I the last time I got my hair uh, straightened was two years ago graduation from, co from college so wow we don't we don't get up in here we don't get so just make sure that you're looking at your strands to see like what really what it really needs so you have this small section here um you could choose to detangle it what i choose to do is just kind of like pull it to stretch it that's water by the way um stretch it as much as you can maybe you could finger detangle it instead of actually brushing through um Especially if you're no heat natural like me. I go all the way to the ends. Yeah, that's where it's at. Look, this is what my hair looks like. Do you see that? Like some of them are jumping up, others are not. That's how you know that your hair is uneven. And then I'm gonna move a little bit closer. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. Um, but I really want you guys to see like what my hair is working with right now. So my hair is like all of you guys can see the single strand knots or the split ends but I have some of them I just go based on like the section that seems like the most like all right starting to bounce up it's starting to thin out over here and then this part right here where you can see it's uneven I just get rid of it because that's like majority of like where my problem area is so I just go ahead and I get rid of it so like this much I would say so like that much hair and this is like a whole trimming for like until the next what <laughs> couple months maybe three four months I don't trim my hair that often but yeah I just go into the section find it and go ahead and do that and the thing about it how you would know that your hair is actually um, pretty good. And again, this is like <laughs> a no heat natural, so it really doesn't matter. But when I do this, my hair should be able to go all the way down without having all that hair left over. And that was one thing I noticed when I was styling my hair. And I always like twirl the ends. There will always be like a single strand that's twirling with my finger and like getting caught up in like, getting knotted or 
um, it just wouldn't have enough hair and I would have to start borrowing. So even if I do it like middle, middle, like split it directly in the middle. So you just twist up your hair. And this is a way to check to make sure that it's good. Um, okay, so we have this one. Oh, no, you're good. And then... So that's kind of what my curls always look like at the ends instead of having that dangling thing. And to show it and prove it to you guys, I'm actually going to do my other method as well. So there's another way that I trim my hair when I just go ahead and I um just twist it like first. So the same detangling process, not detangling that much. This stuff looks like conditioner or something still in my hair but it's kind of weird I don't know ah because stuff is still in my hair and yeah that's the annoying part you'll always get like products still in your hair you won't be able to get all of it out I'm probably gonna wash my hair again Do y'all see this? Okay, this is what this one's looking like. A lot of mercy. And this is what this one's looking like. Do y'all see that? It's a difference, okay? So sometimes I do it like this, and then I just go in and I trim that part off, right? Because like that's really where it's at. Like, that's the issue file. And then I just slide my fingers down when I'm trimming. So like I already know where the part is, right? It starts up here. It starts like right here, right? You see that? So I would go ahead and put my finger and then I'll pull it ju down just a little bit, like to exactly where it starts so I could trim it. That way I'm not trimming off too much of my hair. And then this is what you've got, see? And the size of your section actually doesn't matter, at least to me it doesn't, because you're getting rid of all that bad um, hair regardless, but um, you just want to be able to look at the ends first. First and foremost, make sure you're not cutting off too much hair, but also make sure you're not cutting off too little that you just have this craziness on your head. So, another way that I also do it, and this way is a little risque, okay? You don't want to twist your hair up. You don't have time for that. You just want to get this bad hair off. Or you have a lot. Like, it's something that is so noticeable that you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with you. Um, Just go ahead and do it like this. The same way we did before. Make sure you're detangling. And then, run it all the way down. All the way down. And, like, you could kind of tell where the issue begins. I like to hold on to the hair because somewhere along it's gonna start, you know, going up. So I keep bringing my fingers lower and lower. So like somewhere around here is where it starts. And I don't wanna like let go and let go of the entire hair. So that's why I keep my hand or my fingers holding it. So this is like where it starts. Do y'all see that? So you can also just Turn it this way, <laughs> so be very careful. Turn it this way, and, oop, oh, y'all can't even see it. Turn it this way, like that. You see it? And then just go ahead and trim her off. Just like that, just like that. Ooh, look at that, look at that, yes! This is what we working with, what we working with. I'm tired of this. I don't know how people do this, okay? This is what I'm working with, okay? Don't fall here, don't fall. So we're just gonna keep going. And again, I'm gonna twist this up. But this shouldn't take you longer than, I wanna say 10, 15 minutes at most, because you don't have to twist it up the way I'm twisting it up. You don't have to do these super small sections that I'm doing. In the back, I'm going to show you like the actual size of the sections that I do. Um, just because you're going to notice like 
when you twist your hair up, you're going to notice like, hey, I missed something. This is not right. You know? And your twist just looks so much better. Your braids just look so much better. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this? All right, let me stop. <laughs> but no, like for real. I don't even need to do a close up, but like I kind of want to. Obviously my hair is a little frizzy in this area. Um, or like just in general, because it doesn't have any products. But what a major difference. Go ahead and show you guys how I do the rest of the hair. And again, I am not doing it um, this way. I'm gonna do it the way I actually do it, like with the bigger sections. You can I would recommend getting a brush or a comb or something. Um, just because, you know, especially if this is your first time doing this, but I like to just stretch, 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 stretch your hair out. Stretch your hair out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. stretch, stretch, stretch. <laughs> to see where it starts. Like I can already tell it's somewhere around here. Like where you kind of see it like curving. You just keep going down. Like, do you see that? What? Like this random part right here is like longer than everything else. Ridiculous, right? Yeah, you, you gotta get you gotta get it out. So still following. I guess you can call this a chasing method. <laughs> I don't know. But um yeah, you just chase it with your fingers and then you can kind of eyeball it. Oh my gosh, no, this is single strand knots. Do you guys see that? No, you have to see it so you know what a single strand knot is. Okay, this right here. You see that thicker part where my finger is? That's where the single strand knot, oh my gosh. There's a few here. Yeah, that's how you know you gotta trim your hair. Oh my gosh, it's literally like the hair knotting on itself and looking thicker. Like, that's not how your strands actually look. It looks like darker and like, Something has been added to it. So it's my way of doing it. So then I just go right under. And you can't be afraid, okay? You just gotta go ahead and do it. You can't be afraid to trim this oh so lovely hair of yours. Um, because it's gonna grow back. Like it's not the end of the world, it's gonna grow back. I am just looking for the single strand knot so I can show it to you guys, like up close what it really looks like. Tie on itself. Like you know when you basically like do this? Like you tie it, it's tied on itself. Like you do that and you pull it through. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my hair, but like that's how it is, but it's tied. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim it again. Okay, so like that's the only thing with like doing the thicker sections. Like sometimes you're gonna miss something. Uh, which I mean it's not the end of the world but yeah you're just trying to make sure that you get as much of the bad hair bad strands out as possible um but again you're not gonna get everything in one go like just gonna show you guys the one back section like if I was to do right here just so you guys can see like it doesn't matter what your hair texture is you could still tell the difference um, and obviously like this section here, they are a lot more uniform. Finger detangling is a must when it comes to 4C hair, okay? <laughs> you need to, or you're just not gonna find the stuff. You just, ooh, link check. You know we gotta do it, you know we gotta do it, you know, you know, you know, we know we gotta do it. All right. So that's what we're doing. It depends on the thickness of your hair. Some people need to do less sections, some people need to do more. But for me, three is ideal.
it's coming off basically like right now but it's not good to pull it just go ahead and trim it just like that well well it looks like i cut off a lot of here right nope that was already coming off just want to make sure yeah, just, wow that's all the hair i lost okay yep this is it can y'all see that Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day and be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out.